as for why I got the hood on and cover and cover my 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 flowing locks, it's cold. Anyway, it's time for my rise. Everyone's rise through WWE is different, but it all starts the same way. Standing backstage in front of a single curtain, the only thing that separates you from the WWE universe in the moment that would change your life forever, your WWE debut. For some, it means stepping in front of a crowd that immediately erupts and chants your name. Guys, it's Bailey! Expectations placed upon you before you even step foot in the ring. Right. For others, it means trying to make the best first impression to those who have no idea who you are. Some will find a clear path to the top while others may take a few steps back before they figure out how to move forward. Because how you start doesn't always determine how you finish, who you eventually align with, or who you ultimately discover you really are. After that moment, choices you make can send your career different directions and have the potential to change the makeup of the WWE hmm. universe forever. But that's getting ahead of things. Let's go all the way back. Everyone's rise through WWE is different. But it all starts the same way. Standing backstage in front of a single curtain. What happens next is up to you. Between the lock and the legacy versus you have ten both lock and legacy have pivotal choices that can send you a distant path. This year you can import characters into create characters and create superstar to enter my rise to import them. Really? That's all I had to do. Okay, I'm not. I'm going to make a whole new one. The legacy, the lo okay, so the legacy. Make your dirty debut as some extra challenges when your aunt is a beloved W legend and Hall of Famer. You will leverage your family legacy to my rise to the top or look to chart your own path. Excellence are high when you debut as the next big thing and a future world champion, but are you a lock to live up to the hype? Ah. Uh, so, for those who don't know, we are making El Corridor, aka the Jabba. So, but so I think the lock will be uh, for another woman to have, Jessica Davis. Or we'll meet her later. But we're arguing with the legacy. Start with the legacy. I may go with the lock at a later date. I already got a headache. Loan screens be taking so long. <laughs> of course, that match was an instant classic. But, mm -hmm. Justine, which match of yours wasn't a classic? Oh, you're way too kind, Robin. To point out that very real truth. Wait. Were you nervous at all? Is this, is Me? This the women's? Nervous? <laughs> of course not. I had that. Oh match my gosh, the pro Wait. In fact, I was always calm, cool, and collected from my first day in the ring to my sixth championship victory. Is this the women's one? Did I, did I click the women's one on accident? Do I got to change the title? Also, if that was uh, the prototype Cena, that Paul Heyman should have had hair. And like I say, if that was pro type scene, that means this is O2. The following contest Justine. is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the WWE Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger, Justine. Just Justine.
for the and we all if welcome up, this is 2002. This should be a five minute match, and we're lucky it ain't a broad panties match. Well, I say lucky, but. Oh, Molly Holly's. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a Brawn Pain special. Molly Holly's here. From Forest Lake, Minnesota, Molly Holly. It was definitely Brawn Pain special. Molly Holly. Molly Holly's here. This is short hair Molly Holly. Yeah, they, they'd have. They'd humiliate Molly Holly in five minutes. Brawn Pain special, and, and they'd have her come down with no shirt. Off rip. Okay, so what am I supposed to do? You just kind of threw me, just threw me all the way in here. Chill now. Chill. Chill now, Miss Holly. Okay, they're not getting, they're not letting me, there's not letting me, let me, the first anything at this point. Find the move hit Molly with just with her finisher. Which I don't have yet, so now I got okay, so I I gotta load up the finisher. Which is Middle World Blockbuster. Okay. Right now, Molly Holly. This match is already gone way too long as it is for a, for a women's match in 2002. Oh yeah, and I, I did switch out that. I switched that. It's, Jesus, I wasn't. I wasn't doing that anymore. Wow, it didn't let me it, it didn't let me hit my hit a heavy move. Yeah, 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 so yeah, so yeah, so me yeah, so, yeah, sometimes. Up. Nah, 
Nah, but we ain't done yet. Get up. Now what? Oh, get straight, straight to the bin. Hey, Molly, 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 Molly. Look here. Look here, Molly Holly. We, again, this is a Divas match in 2002. Ain't no kicking out of signatures and it followed by finisher. What do you think this is? You were gonna get a... In a women's wrestling chant? Nah, this ain't happening. This ain't happening. This isn't real. A women's wrestling match. A women's wrestling chant. Molly, we could have we could have been out here. We could have been out here done already. Molly had to do too damn much. Wrestling now. Oh, damn it. She was stunned. I had her right there. Oh, shit. I'm about to be, I'm about to be stunned. I need to. No! Damn it. Come on. I'll take, take off. What's your, what's your moves? Are you about to go for Oh no, we are good. Did she just She has move thief. Oh my gosh. Too damn much, Molly Holly. Yeah, roll off. That's, that's that actually works out great in my favor.
I want to go dirty pin there. But Molly, Holly is doing the damn most for the first match. This is the first match in this my rise, and I got and I got to have a, a 20 minute five star five star in a Tokyo Dome with Molly Holly. Oh, I missed that. I have a red. My high yeah. What a fucking comeback! Why am I here having a 20 minute banger with Molly Holly? People will not people will not come here to watch Molly Holly and Justine go 20 minutes. I'm trying everything. I'm trying to get this match out. I'm trying to get this match over and done with. That's that Molly Holly one. Want to go mess around and go, go 20. Oh my gosh. Nope, I ain't gonna. My foot's in the rope. Foot's in the rope. First off, what? Th that's what we that's what we counting? Molly Holly Molly Holly went across the ring, didn't connect. Three weeks later. Oh, it didn't let me it didn't let me. Her recovery time is so quick and mine isn't. Can I like 
like to see, like, what is her... First off, no payback. Insane. Her having two paybacks. Also insane. Move set. Ass. Music of Molly Holly twice. Ass. Many months later. Gotta be like a 60 overall. Watching my first title win again. <laughs> After you topped it up so much on your this podcast. This is the women's my rise. How can I not? Don't get me wrong. It's a fantastic match. I just figured you had it memorized by now. Sure, but it's a tradition at this point. Ah, is it my favorite aunt? Only aunt. Watch her most epic victories. And now also stress about what I have to live up to in my debut at Survivor Series tomorrow night. <laughs> uh, why are you laughing? Oh, nothing. Just that if I didn't know better, I'd say you were nervous, which is super hilarious. Because I know that I didn't teach my favorite niece. Only niece. To be nervous about getting in the ring and doing what she does best. Yeah. Especially not when she's been trained by one of the biggest legends in the business. If I'm being honest, there's really no comparison. <laughs> you really do manage to turn everything into a compliment about yourself, don't you? Of course I do. I'm a six-time women's champion. Six times? ten if my career hadn't been cut short by injury. I get it. A main Six? eventer and Hall of Famer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who had the top merch sales in the 2003 fiscal year. Okay, you made your point. A woman having I top sales in 2003? Tomorrow. That's my girl. I'm not being sexist. I just know what WWE was like in 2003. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. As the mystery SmackDown competitor, shouldn't I have been shuttled in secretly or something? The whole golf cart with the black sheets get up don't worry about it no one knows who you are so yet <clears throat> no one knows who you are yet who is that Krisha rock looking girl Tom. in the background justine and lj too it's so good to see you both same here tom wait do you even still go by lj <laughs> man it was always a hoot and a half having you backstage when you were a kid, dressing up in Justine's gear, being her shadow, her little Justine. But suppose you're not eight anymore, huh? It's fine. But I am trying to get known on my own here. I've heard. Good thing you're debuting tonight. The secret's pretty much out backstage. A few more hours and it'd be out to the entire WWE universe. You doing something here tonight too, Justine? Nope, just here to support my niece's big moment. Come on. She really like Christian Rock in a bag. find some way to steal the spotlight. <sighs> Molly. Justine. They got well, Molly the I, heel. I, gotta, I, I better go check on the. Uh, yeah, I got no good reason, but I'm gonna leave now. I heard you were working backstage these days. Beat sitting at home talking to the internet. It's called it a though? podcast, and it's Does very it really? popular. <laughs> But I'm not here to resurrect old rivalries. Would you really call it a rivalry if there's a clear conclusion and undisputed winner? I was actually here to greet our newest WWE superstar. Wish her luck. She doesn't need luck. And let her know that I'll be working with her to get her ready for her Survivor Series debut this evening. Is that all right? I'm looking no, at this fit. That's great. I'm so excited to be here representing What's up with the jet? What's up with the shirt? Great. Get settled, and then let's talk. Justine. Please don't make things more difficult for me on my first day. Besides, you two were friends once. Why, get, why is that Sorry, girl just sitting back right. there? It's just... Well, you know what she did. 
It might be ancient history, and there's no reason for her to mess with you, but be careful with Molly, okay? I'm gonna go say hello to people. You all right? I'm all right. I'm ready. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I love you, kid. You'll do great. Are you gonna say something back there now? No, you were just you were just background filler. Wait, so is the story is storyline not only Molly Holly the the heel, but then Molly Holly injured Justine. Is that the story for this? Cause that'd be kind of insane. Like, hey, the story is you're feuding with the woman who legit injured your aunt. So yes, yeah, now Charlotte, I will talk to you. I hope you don't think we're going to be friends. I certainly won't be taking it easy on you tonight. Why would you think I'd want to be friends with you? Because we both come from famous WWE lineage. But let's be real. We're not the same. Did I offend you, madam? Sorry if I offended you in some way. But I say, you just came, came in guns blazing. Ugh. I have a lot of respect for your aunt. You, not so much. Aunt, nigga? You're only here because you're cashing in on her legacy. But do your best not to make all of us second generation superstars look bad, okay? Though it's gonna be hard tonight when you're competing against me and the rest of Team Raw. Charlotte, you have, what, 12 titles and only two of them have been significant? 12 title reigns, two significant ones? And, hello, Bianca. Hey, nice to finally meet the EST of WWE. What? Isn't that you? Yeah, I'm about to say the fuck. <laughs> As in new S superstar in WWE. Ready to show Team Raw what's up tonight? Oh, you know. You know it. That's exactly what I'm here to do. Now that's the confidence I like to hear. And remember, the rest of Team SmackDown has your back. Although, ideally, we would have at least met each other to get on the same page before today. Yeah, they said they were really trying to keep my debut a secret. I get it. I mean, the WWE Universe is going to lose their minds when they realize you're related to Justine. And don't think I'm not going to fangirl out and grill you after we win. You gotta tell me exactly what she's like. Actually, hold on a second. <laughs> Big problem with that. The crowd would not know... The crowd itself would not know... I was Justine's daughter, unless the ring announcer says it. The people at home will say, oh, this is the daughter of famous blah, 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 blah. But they're not going to say that to the on, the on the loudspeaker. Listen, I love my aunt. I even spent summers traveling with her on tour growing up. But it's important for me to make my own mark in WWE. Hopefully I can do that tonight. You know the EST is all about standing out, so I understand completely. See you out there tonight. We got this. Bianca's doing a pretty good job on the uh, scripts. You, Christian Rock. Hi, I'm LJ, little Justine. Yeah, I overheard. How oh, precious. Yeah, I was actually going to say I recognize you from NXT 2.0. Ava Moreno, right? You had some great matches with Cora Jade. I didn't realize you had gotten drafted to SmackDown. Guess your famous WWE legend aunt hasn't been able to get you up to speed on everything. Honestly, we've been pretty busy prepping for my debut. I'm a little out of the loop on everything else. Who's your match with tonight? I don't have a match on the show tonight. Not all of us are able to skip the line, LJ. Ooh. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. My bad. There's a lot to take in, and I'm still trying to get the lay of the land. Let me lay it out for you. Right. A girl named Ava works her whole life to be the best athlete she can be. Right. Excels at some things naturally, puts in the time to get better at the rest. 
that to. signed to WWE continues to grind at the Performance Center doing everything the WWE way, grind. makes a mark on NXT 2.0, wins her matches, and gets signed to SmackDown. Sounds pretty great, right? Excellent. Sounds like Yeah, it. sounds like it. Some of us work hard. Some of us work harder. And some of us, LJ, get to waltz into Survivor Series and get put into a match that the rest of us, those of us who have done everything by the book, would kill for. Has anybody actually in WWE gone to the top by going by the book? Actually. My aunt is a legend, but I'm good at this. I got here on my own. I'm not just some nepotism signing. <laughs> got here on your own? We'll see what happens tonight. Maybe you are good, and you'll prove that. Regardless, I haven't been given the same opportunity on this brand to prove how good I am. So excuse me if I don't play nice with little Justine, the legacy hire. Do we got a problem? Do we got a problem? Do we got a problem? Oh, wait, okay, now one more thing. I got upgrade points. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, one for everything. So, so. grappling, defense, one for it. Yeah. I'm going to save that last one. Yeah, we need that. Ariel, I'm literally not gonna be going up there unless need be. Submission, I may actually need to upgrade that. Like the signature, my finisher is this submission. So yeah, let me actually do that. There we go. Now, Molly Holly. Sorry I wasn't able to check in with you sooner. It's always nuts backstage before a major show. And I lost a full 20 minutes to Happy Corbin, who wanted to practice a stand-up routine on me. Luckily, Xia Li overheard and protected me from his bad jokes. How are you doing? Feeling good about tonight? I ain't gonna hold you. I'm nervous as fuck. I'm on Legend difficulty. Is it weird that I'm a little nervous? I've trained my whole life for this, but to actually be here, debuting in WWE? It's a lot. Honestly? I'd be concerned if you weren't a little nervous. Means you're taking this seriously, and my job is to help you succeed. Despite my history with your aunt, that's really my goal here. Red flag. You guys have some history, huh? That's a conversation for another day. Stick around here long enough, and you'll have history with everyone. Alliances, rivalries, heck, we even have our fair share of weddings. Although those rarely seem to work out. But let's talk about your debut. I've got your custom gear ready. Big party? Custom gear? What do you mean? I, I, Honestly, I, I get it. I wouldn't want to debut in it either. No, I mean I have no idea what you're talking about. Custom gear? Huh. Not sure how this didn't get to you, but WWE management asked that you debut in a look that honors Justine's legacy. So they've made gear inspired by what your aunt wore when she won her first championship. Not that that specific match would be the moment I'd choose to commemorate. Justine got lucky. But I brought my own gear. I designed it myself. Besides, I'm not sure if I want to use my aunt's image to establish my own. I want to make my own mark. Listen, despite my personal feelings, it never hurts to get a rub from a WWE legend. It's also probably not wise to go against management on day one. But I know it's important to stand on your own two feet around here. Ultimately, the decision is yours. What do you want to do? Important decision is crucial. Uh, the cause. Okay. Trying to, trying to play the lock and Alexi multiple times. Try, okay. Do that. Now, I spent 30 minutes. No, actually, I spent close to an hour on the attire how she looks move set and entrance you think i'm gonna throw all that away for this no i love my aunt and she taught me a lot 
But if I'm going to make it here, I need to make my own mark. I'm going to wear the gear I designed. All right. We'll see how management reacts. Standing your ground can really go either way around here. But if you're determined to make your own mark, you better have the performance out there to back it up. Go get changed. It's go time. I not spend that long of a time making that, making everything how it's supposed to look. This is a this is so again. So here's what I said before. Why she? Why they have her look old? It's Team Raw ready to battle for brand supremacy. The following is a six woman. This is a nasty match. tag. This is a nasty three. Rhea Ripley, Charlotte Flair, and Bailey. Team Raw. The superstars from the Red Brand are here to prove they don't need to play mind games to come out on top. Nope. Well, if you're referring to the fact that Team SmackDown has a mystery partner, I think that's just good strategy. The main event featured the Fabulous Moolah defending the WWF Women's Championship against Wendy Richter. Is that the... That's... Please tell me that's not the one where they screwed over Wendy. Oh no, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. The wait is over for Still the reveal of Team crazy. SmackDown's mystery partner and their opponents, Lisa, Liv Morgan, and Bianca Belair. Team SmackDown. Do you know who that is? The final member of Team SmackDown is none other than the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Justine. The last legacy superstar I remember debuting oh, so I like the I... series was The Rock. No pressure, kid. Here's another thing I just remember. I would get booed out the building if they found out, oh, you're debuting at Survivor Series in the Survivor Series match. And you're the niece of a Hall of Famer. I would get booed out of the building. They just mentioned The Rock. The Rock got die, Rocky, die chance. Survivor Series matches in years. And one of the most anticipated debuts in years. This rookie superstar could be the second coming of her legendary Hall of Fame aunt, Justine. Don't get your hopes up, Saxton. By the looks of it, I'd say this rookie's here. The plays are on the ground. Right to the midsection. Buff me, Rhea. Going to the top row. She's putting her own mark on an old classic. Not if Charlotte Flair has anything to say about it. You only have one chance to make a first impression, and this one might include a hurt ankle. And Rhea oh, took no way. She definitely didn't expect to be out so early in this match. The top rope missed. Three times in my first match, I break my damn ankle. A key role in that. And it looks like Charlotte Flair is determined to add insult to injury. Why would Charlotte even walk all the way over? Hall of Famer Justine is here. Oh, see, yeah, I, I'm getting booed. I'm not gonna survive. One thing is clear: the WWE Universe is thrilled to see this venerated six-time women's champion here tonight. In any circumstance. And it looks like Justine is just as thrilled to see them. Things might not have turned out how she wanted for her niece, but she's loving this crowd. I'm just hoping that Justine can get her niece on the right track. After this debut, she certainly needs some guidance. <laughs> that was most. I had all that to be in a match for five minutes. Get hurt five minutes, break my ankle, and get hit with a riptide, stacked it. Stacked up by Rhea. Granted, I personally would like to get stacked up by Rhea, but that's neither here nor there.
the point being, that was one of the worst debuts that could possibly happen. I can't say that was the debut we were hoping for. I'm sorry, what's going on with her pants? I don't know what happened out there. I wanted to make a name for myself based on my own talent. And you decided to do something showy. Took your eyes off of what was happening and let Charlotte blindside you. They act like this is something... Every WWE, every wrestler ever has done that exact spot. It's not my fault. You told me I had to make an impression in the ring. Listen, you get one brat moment with me and you just used yours up. Yes, you had to make an impression by doing your job. Not trying to steal the show on day one. You're here because you're good. And you could be great. You could have gone out there and had a solid match, and that would have been enough. Win or lose. But you bit off more than you can chew. You wanted me to go out there and dress up like just team. Maybe you're right. No, she's not. Of course I'm right. I'm a WWE legend. You are. I'll do my best at damage control. You're already off to a rough start with management. They weren't thrilled that you decided against wearing the tribute gear. Although maybe I can spin that since it wasn't exactly the performance they would have wanted to be associated with Justine's legacy. Actually worked out for the best. Nope, they'll just associate it with little old me. Already seen the chatter on social media. Oh yeah, social media would kill her. Like, social media would be on her ass. They'd be like, "Who is this new? Who is this new upstart that got jabroned in five minutes? That cuss by Spock and went to they cut Spock and went to somebody else." Great, you're worried about social media at a time like this. Get your head in the game. I'll see you at SmackDown, and we'll take it from there. Did you hear that pop? What? The sound of my ankle popping or my career imploding? Oh, how is that ankle? Or more importantly, how's that ego? Ankle's okay. Ego? That's another story. You really went for it out there, huh? Didn't hold back? All five minutes of it. I'm the niece of one of the most venerated WWE legends of all time. I needed to make my own mark and stand out. I still do. You need to take your time and not overthink this. But you're still learning, and regardless, Charlotte acted out of line. If I was medically cleared for in-ring action, I would put the queen in her place. Oh boy. Believe me, I'm mad about it. But I'm not sure that Charlotte did anything you wouldn't have done. Ooh. Nah. But one of the perks of having a career-ending injury is getting to apply unrealistic standards on the next generation. Shots Why fire. do you think I liked training you so much? Right. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to leave if you need to talk, but I got word that WWE management wants to chat before we head out. Something about the buzz online, whatever that means. You okay? If anyone taught me how to be resilient, it's you. I'm fine. I'll talk to you later. That's my girl. I'll find you in a bit. I saw Liv over here. Do I still get saw Liv? Yes, I do. What was that about? I like to show off as much as the next person, but that was embarrassing. <clears throat> Sorry. I understand why you're upset, but I did my best. 
You grew up learning from one of the most talented WWE legends in history, and that's your best? I did a better job teaching myself in my backyard. Don't expect this to blow over with the SmackDown Women's Locker Room. The Raw women are going to rub this loss in our faces for a long time. For what? A year? Y'all don't even share locker rooms like that, so y'all's going to be on social media? Lock them hoes. Go to SmackDown. But what people forget is that for someone to win, someone else has to lose. It is better to win, though. Of course. Actually, speaking of winning, I have a few developments that Ruthless Digressions listeners will be thrilled to hear about. Oh. Care to share with those listeners or your co-host? Like I told my niece at Survivor Series, patience, Robin, patience. <laughs> 